Hi, everyone. I've got the worst headache at the moment. I'm trying to like figure my stuff out. I feel incredibly, I don't even know where to begin. So I have to log into my Twitter. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm irritated. So, I'm here to address, hi Rebel T, hi Christina, how are you girl, hi everyone. So, I want, I have a reaction, do a reaction, and welcome to the new age, to the new age, welcome to the new age, to the new age. I'm, I'm radioactive at the moment. Um, for you, I'm I'm pissed. I don't say I'm pissed, but my cause it's a revolution, I suppose. Painted red just to fit right in. Checking out of the prison bus. This is it, the apocalypse. So, I'm reacting. Dumbo, welcome to the new age. To the new age, that's Lily back there. Why am I sitting like this? I don't really know. Why am I getting so many dislikes? Because they are disliking me. I don't know. I can't see them. I have to get new glasses. All right, let me get to what I have to say. All oh, systems go. The sun hasn't died. Deep Damn, it sounds like she's dying. Straight from inside, I'm waking up. I feel it in my bones to make my system grow. Welcome to the new age. Welcome to the new age. Welcome to the new age. To the new age. Can you see the comments? Hi, Stacy. Yes, I'm going to get here in just a second. I'm feeling radioactive right now. More like nuclear. And I'll get to it in a second. I'm just this whole drama thing has changed my life. I have tried harder than anything to stay to, to stay drama sober. And then every minute there's someone who's I'm right on your ass, I'm right on your ass, I'm right on your ass. I'm not allowed to have a voice. What the fuck? Seriously, like, y'all can be out there running your mouths, running your mouths, running your mouths, but Trisha, if she so much as opens her mouth, oh, yeah, I, I did wash my hands. I don't have dirt underneath my fingernails. You want the dirt? You want the tea? Let's talk about it. This is my, this is my radioactive moment you want the tea let's have the tea let's talk about it because i am i am here to just <sighs> i'm supposed to sit back and, and and let all of these fools try to trash my name what is my name my online reputation is everything to me don't you know that i have no friends i have no family i have no one but online no one and and all you want all you want is to what when i when i have like a real moment where i'm like i need help y'all laugh at me y'all laugh at me when i when i try to be humble and to ask for forgiveness from from the internet gangsters like please 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 just leave me alone please stop 
Please, please just stop. Please leave me alone. And they keep going and going and going and going and they won't, they don't stop. I asked, I said, please, I begged, I, I pleaded. I, I want a relationship. I, I want the good things in life, but then it's, you're not worthy of it, Trisha. I learned so fucking much. I learned so much. You guys don't even fucking get it. You don't get it. Where I was at. What I was going through. The situation I was in. All of this would not have happened if it weren't for me speaking my truth. How many channels popped up? I get a little bit bigger, but then I'll admit I'm just the same as I was. Now, don't you understand? I'm never changing who I am. I knew who I was when I started this. When I try to find something better for my life and I try to move forward, y'all try to pull me back. I will respond to it because this is my name. This is my reputation. This is online. Don't you guys understand that? Your line online reputation is everything. How dare you try to ruin my, me, my online reputation? Not over yet. No, I'm not changing who I am because this is why. I'm here to fight back and I will always fight back and I will keep fighting back until there is no fight left in me anymore. And any of you going through a fight, yes, we want peace, we want harmony, but there are times. And there are times you have to fight for what you love. There are times you have to fight with everything left in you to prove your final point. Do not go out. Do not go out without fighting for what you love, what you believe in, and what is your passion. Don't let anyone take away from you what matters most. And what matters most is how you feel, and it's you. So there are times where you gotta come back, you gotta you gotta pause, you gotta collect yourself, you gotta take an evaluation of what's going on in your life, and then you've gotta come back swinging. Never let someone get away with hurting you. And I'm not talking about revenge, and I'm not talking about fighting back in other ways. When someone tries to trash you or defame you, you have the right to stand up for what you believe in. You have the right to speak. What is today? Do you know what today is? Martin Luther King Jr. Day. This isn't Trisha spouting off at the mouth today, is it? No. Today has meaning. Today has power. Today has something. Y'all only care about Christmas. You care about Christmas. What are you going to get for Christmas? A fucking Thanksgiving for a fucking turkey. But you don't give a shit about the people who who spoke and who bled and who died for this country, for all of us to be together, to be civil and to be here in peace. So, instead you want to slay somebody. You want to go after somebody because you don't like the way that she looks or she photoshops her legs. I don't fucking photoshop my legs. I fucking run on that track. I run on the trauma like it's my life. I fucking run when I go on the track. And I built these legs. This lady is out the chain, guys. Because I was too fat to get up to even get the fucking remote control to the freaking TV. I fought for this. And I refused to give up. So when I sit here 
doing my chores and thinking of the things that I have to do with my life, it boils inside of me. And I try every single coping mechanism I went to therapy for to, to look at. He's not, I don't want to date that guy, Marcy. That's not okay. That is not okay. If a woman puts her body on the internet, she does not. Don't you understand? I'm never changing who I am. When a woman puts her body on the internet, it does not give someone the right to look at her body and shame her and say, I'm going to do all of these things to her. Unwelcomed and gross and disgusting. Little bit bigger, but then I'll admit I'm just the same as I was. Now, don't you understand? I'm never changing who I am. So today, I want to talk about the importance of that. And I'm fighting that. And I refuse to sit down and be told to shut up and to be behave and sit in the corner like I was supposed to. This is connecting the dots. I'm gonna connect this for you. I was in a marriage every single day that this man made me hate my life in addition to how much I hated my life. I would sit outside of my bedroom door playing his video games. Shush, shut up, leave me alone. Meanwhile, carrying on internet free relationships with other women, accusing me of having affairs with other men that I did not have. His ex-wife stalking me for nine years till he met another woman who paid off all of his debt. I will tell you this, if I had money from a divorce settlement, I would have the biggest and best makeover you would ever see. Spend a dime of it on another man. Seeing this happening, that my name is my, my face, that I'm always on their mouth, I'm always in their mouth, it sickens me, it grosses me out, it disgusts me. Oh no, I'm just, I should probably go in for a run right now. Whip, whip. A racehorse pull me like a rib cord, break me down and fill me up. I want it. Whip word upon your lip, flip that you rip, rip, break me down. And... I'm gonna do whatever it takes. This is what I listen to when I run, and I fucking run. If you look at my stats, I'm not Usain Bolt or anything. All right, I need to calm down. I'm trying. I have not done these things you guys keep fucking accusing me of doing. I did not do these things. Fucking stop. You fuck anybody. Oh, anybody that I talk to on fucking Twitter. This fucking creep lady fucking sends her messages and, and Trisha did this, Trisha did it. Mm. I gotta calm down. I gotta calm down. Break me down and fill me up. Whatever it takes. I, I'm trying to calm down because there's so much I want to say that I have not said, and, and it's. I just. Ooh, I'm trying to break the chains of this. You don't know my fucking life. You don't know what I did, why I started vlogging. You don't know why. I was alone. I had no friends. I was isolated. I was in a domestically violent relationship. I reacted in a way that I never should have reacted. 
something that I'm proud of out of the box and epoxy to the world and the vision we lost on a catastrophe, a symbol to, oh, um, whatever, I'm just, yeah, I'm just, whatever. Yet I'm half deceased. I'm really trying hard to, I'm boiling right now. Nobody cares if you are doing okay. Nobody cares if you are trying to build your life back. What they want to do is destroy you, rip apart you, shred you. A lot of these channels would not be in. A lot of these channels would not be in existence if it weren't for me speaking up with my voice. I'm sitting here and I'm thinking of all the things like, yes, granted, I made some mistakes. An online reputation is everything. It's everything. I went so far as much as to apologize to the people who hurt me. That's how fucked up I am. That's like, okay, let me let me speak it more metaphorically than this. It's like walking down the street and someone runs you over on the sidewalk. You're lying there. You're like, I'm sorry. What do you mean you're sorry? Because I was just walking and that person drove up on the sidewalk, ran me over, and it's my fault. No. No. Hey, guys, I just want to pause at this point. Um, this series is going to be broken down in like four equal segments. And basically, I just want to bring it to your point. If you want to know about Truthfully Trisha, when she was on Dr. Phil, it was in reference to a lady that was meeting her at a hotel where her and her former husband, Mr. Sean, Captain Smith, who was in the military with me, um, apparently, uh, Truthfully Trisha had jumped on this woman's car or this woman had jumped on her car. And there's a lot of discrepancies from Dr. Phil saying that it couldn't happen. So if you would like to look at that alone, just type in Dr. Phil, Truthfully Trisha, and you will see the episode. But right now I'm going to move right along because um, she's really emotional. She's going to blab on about an hour or so. So I'm going to uh, fast forward it to um, about an hour. I want you guys to really see this because it is graphic. So guys, if you have any little kids in here, please, guys, please get your kids out of it because I made sure this channel was uh, within COPA that is not child oriented or uh, age restricted. But um, I just want to show you what type of people that we have on the Internet here. And uh, it is not safe for our kids and people being on YouTube. But, you know, I'm not here to uh, be on either one side. I'm just a commentary. This is show you just is for um, basically uh, nonprofit, nonprofit, nonprofit promotion. Let you guys see how foul people can be on the Internet. And I'm just going to get here so I can show you. I don't, I don't know if she's telling the truth, guys, but there's a lot of people out there don't like this lady. So we're going to go ahead in one hour. And here we go. Why? Why? I'm asking for myself. So going back to the bipolar thing, we see things. She says she's bipolar. Maybe she's having a bipolar moment. I don't know. Not a psychiatrist, but uh, she need to go see her psyche and not put all these things on it because it only makes her look kind of mean, you know. But watch at your own discretion. Hi, I'm Chickley Trisha. I started my channel. Three years ago, trying to escape domestic violence. Along the way, I accumulated a lot of haters. Yes, yeah, some of them told me to kill myself. I attempted suicide over it. Yes, I have suicidal thoughts almost every day because of the shit I've done and been a part of. But I'm moving forward. People take my sound bites, people take my clips, they think it's funny, they make fun of me, and I try to fight back. 
yeah, that's probably not the best idea. However, I'm working really hard at trying to change my life. I go to the gym, I go to school. I'm trying to do positive things in my community. Yes, I'm raising my daughter still. She lives at home. And it's just wonderful. My life is fabulous. I, I tried dating a little bit. And unfortunately, it didn't work out. I doxed him on New Year's. And then all of my hater women wanted to know what Trisha's pussy is like. So they message him all the time and say all these lovely things. And I really just kind of fucked up my life. And I'm trying not to fuck it. I'm trying to unfuck my life, actually. I got rid of my nasty ex-husband who just posted a picture and he's got grime underneath his damn fingernails, which I tried to tell you for a very long time how gross and disgusting he was. And then I still have to do it every single day his new girlfriend living in my shadow. What's it like to know that, you know, I've been with it first. I didn't want it. Ew, you can have it. You know. So anyway, moving forward, how are y'all doing today? Hi. Oh, there's 223 of you here right now. I'm good. Just had a little bit of a meltdown earlier. Oh, so someone asked me out on a date on YouTube. I want to introduce them to you. He might be kind of special. You want to see him? You want to see how nice and sweet and kind he is? Oh, yes. He's so handsome, too. He's, he's just got a way with words. So I just thought I would kind of like live stream, just kind of like talk about all kinds of shit because I miss you guys. Not. I only missed the one. So where am I going? Oh, let's try to find it. So I'm kind of deeply disturbed right now, and I don't know how to react because I'm having a hard time reacting because I'm reacting. Even though I'm not reacting, I'm still reacting. And I, I'm kind of like that, that meme when you start yelling and you can't stop, and you're still yelling even after the argument is over. Ah, so I, I will introduce to you the guy that's trying to trying to get my attention. And he wants my attention so bad, bitch. Let's give it to him. He really, really wants my attention. So therefore, let's... Where is it? Oh, maybe it's gone. Did I, did I accidentally delete? Did I accidentally delete something? Oh my gosh. You know... I said, hashtag, don't fuck with Trisha. Don't fuck with cats. Don't fuck with Trisha, okay? I'll find out what I need to find out. I'll find out what I need to find out. So I want to rip these rumors apart. Thank you so much. I know y'all have been here for like an hour. I'm really wanting to get to this point. I want to rip these motherfucking rumors apart. Because I've been pushed to my edge. And y'all want to see. Y'all want to see a catastrophe. Y'all want to see somebody take it out and handcuffs again and, and all the other stuff and no not not gonna happen this time what's gonna happen is that you if somebody wants my attention we're gonna give them all attention today they want my channel so bad they can have my whole channel let's start from the bottom and we'll work our way up to the top okay so number 25. Should I write this down? Who's going to keep count for me? Number 25 on my list of people who need some attention from me. Here we go. His name is McHenry Cruiser. McHenry Cruiser is one heck of a guy. He's a YouTuber that has over 10,000 followers on one of his channels. He does prank calling and talks about his mental illness, and he made a really disgusting and gross video about me of how much he wanted to pick up with me. So, number 25 on our list, I'm trying to find it so I can share it with you, and, and we can react together and tell me what you think. Here we go, guys. Let's see. 
Oh, his name is McHenry Cruiser. And let's see, he's got a channel here with over 9,000 followers. Oh, no. And then he says, I rejected him. That was a whole 34 minutes ago, but here you go. Let's see what he's got to say. But oh, wait. I don't get to have my audio. Because you know what Trisha did? Trisha doesn't have her volume on. Trisha's never prepared for these things, but it's okay. We're going to get prepared right now. Here we go. Hold on. Up. Oh, here we go. Up. Hold on. Yo, what it is, homie? What it is, cuz? Yeah. Listen, before I get started on this particular video uh, documented for the historical record, I, I believe the old Amos would like to provide some commentary if you could. Hold on. Yeah, because oh. that's like what oh. real men do. Oh. That's, that's well, what that real men do. Just, uh, that's, that's what real men do. What it was, uh, just a slight, uh, like that. Uh, puckering of the anal lips and whatnot. That, that, that's that was so what was. nice. And what in fact had to say, because listen, I've taken a couple of No, listen. No, no, wait a minute. No, 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 no. No, no. You listen, you gross, ugly, bald headed motherfucker. No. You're going to put the camera between your ass cheeks and you fucking think that someone like me would even consider going out with you? Oh, but that's really funny. That's fucking gross. Have some respect for yourself. Just study him. The old language of the A I. Yes, I do. What the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, what I had to say was, uh, listen, truthfully, Trisha. What the uh, fuck? From one anus to another. Listen, the old cruiser, man. From, from one anus to another? Oh, so you're looking at yourself back to front then. We like to perform cunnilingus. Uh, uh, I don't even know how you can say that because you probably don't even know what the fuck it is. You don't even know what it is because I don't think anyone would be that close to you ever. I think you're the next 40-year-old virgin. On your person, yes, yes. And if you try to do uh, something... That the had to... If you do something sexual against a person who doesn't want it, it is called rape. So virtually, you are saying that you are going to commit rape against someone, and that's pretty wrong. Say, uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, because and, and the reason I state these things, these perverse, sexually charged uh, things. Sexually charged that I'm things. Here. It's freaking disgusting. There are kids who are watching, and you don't talk that way. Uh, it's because she's been showing off her body. Check, check out my oh. Now, because I show off my body on the internet does not give you the right to talk about defiling it. I love my body and I love my physique. I worked hard to be the woman who I am now. And I'll be damned if I let someone like you talk about me that way. Absolutely disgusting. Any woman who wants to show off her body is allowed to show off her body. It's creeps like him. It's creeps like him who are disgusting. Creeps like him who make it hard for any woman to feel good about herself in this society. That we live in. Check out my own. Oh, 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 wait a second. Hey, now. Well, let me just say this. If we're ever in a situation where you think my head is going to be down there, it's going to be my foot so far up your ass, you'll be tasting it. Oh, hey, you now. Uh, listen, I'm just inspired by truthfully, Trisha. No, you're, sure. wait, hold, no, uh, what, uh, you're inspired by me, so you're at the gym, you're going to school, you're doing something with your life. Uh, what are you inspired to eat healthy? What the fuck are you doing? Are you still living at home with your mama? Uh, her body, her physique. My body, my physique, because it is my right to. It is my right to, as a woman, to show off my hard work. And if you don't like it too fucking bad and you don't have a right to go online and try to defile me, low life piece of shit. On her various live streams and whatnot, I'm showing off her beautiful, uh, humongatoid mouth <laughs> and her chest. Yes. First of all, I don't show it off for free. 
I have a subscription website, and it's called OnlyFans.com. Oh, God, this is a paid And your raggedy ass probably couldn't even afford it anyway. This guy want to go out with her. With her. I just want to tune in. Who is he? Like a, a radio guy. This hands not thing. Oh, my just Lord. Think. Disgusting. Are you fucking serious? Uh, hey, man, man. Come on, find some talk radio. Ah. I listen, I just want to do that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I even went to the comments section. I infiltrated the comments. Yeah, yeah. When there were little kids in the comments, you grossly and disgustingly wrote sexual acts that are worse than anything that I had ever seen, and I blocked your ass. Section of various videos of hers, and I, I was like, listen, I, I just want to find the courage within the confines of my body, miss. Uh, the courage within the confines of your nasty body needs to go into a shower, wash your mouth out with some soap, and get a fucking life. To perform the cunnilingus upon you. Yes, just set you, just uh, stick your butthole right atop my face, and I yes, I will root around in there, I will breathe in the, the intoxicating aroma of whatever is brewing in between there. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Who the hell is this one of the most disgusting things I had ever heard a, a person who claims to be a man say. And there are say? women who think that kind of behavior is okay, and that's not okay. That Oreo. is not okay. She's going to go batshit crazy, it's guys. It is not okay. Because <laughs> I have the courage, and I have the guts, and I have the intestinal fortitude to go out there and put this blog out there. You have no right to disrespect me. I'm all about the pheromones. Uh, the, yeah, the old cruiser man. Yeah, that is animalistic. I am a, a living, breathing animal, and and I I need to just inhale the pheromones. That's yes, what I'm attracted to when it when it be, uh, comes to the uh, 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 when it comes to the topic. Of truthfully Trisha. Yeah. When it comes to the topic of truthfully Trisha, it's not about this creep disrespecting me. It's the fact of a woman who stood up for herself and refused to let these maggot looking motherfuckers say a word about me without fighting back. Maggot looking motherfuckers. Who she cussed like a safe so right here, girl. If I was right there, that's the end of you. You can clock that shit. Look at this. This could be your point of view. Uh, your face. There will never be that in my point of view. You sick ass looking motherfucker. Can you look at this? Oh my god. This is the most epic, craziest, funniest video I've ever seen. Where did this come from? Oh my god. And when did this happen? I'm telling you, you don't want to catch these hands. Oh, what's she gonna do with some hairs? That's the third. So what I heard was someone said that they're gonna send him to my house. Damn. They're gonna send him a bus ticket to my house. Oh, wait a minute. If we go back in time, there was a person who was sent bus tickets to come to my house. Who? So don't say, oh, he's not gonna show up. He's harmless. No, because if he has. The propensity to talk that way. She got a lot of people on like her ass. Way, what the hell does she do? Possibly it could be, become your future. No. no. You just give me a chance, baby. First of all, no. Second of all, no. Third of all, go fuck yourself. Yeah, listen, I, I didn't know what this video was going to be when I started, but yeah, I, yes, I am asking out, uh, truthfully, Trisha, yes, will you go on a date with the old cruiser man? Because, yeah, when I bestow uh, eyeballs upon you, uh, yeah, you are quite uh, the looker, quite the stunning uh, uh, lady, yes? And yeah, because I'm a woman who commands and deserves respect. I don't deserve to listen to this kind of shit. This is bull. And I'm not going to sit here and let this creepy motherfucker, because I'm going to show you a bunch of creepy motherfuckers tonight. Oh, 
It's not over until I've done said what I had to. And, uh, you know, and I just dig what you have to say, your motivational videos and whatnot, playing the uh, uh, fucking, uh, meditation music and all that and whatnot. Damn, you can almost see my butthole. Right. Well, it's a good thing I'm wearing. We see his butthole right now. It's staring right at us, this disgusting fool. Jeez. My lord, chief. Yep. This is not okay. Yep. Well, uh, listen, I think she's uh she she was she's currently separated from her husband, uh, maybe in the process of the divorce. So I, I haven't brushed Maybe? Her. You think fucking maybe, but that does not give you the right to be this disgusting on camera. I truthfully, Trisha, acknowledge and whatnot, uh, currently uh, getting plowed uh, by some gentleman's, uh, you know, wing and, and uh, testicular uh, situation down there to slap. This is really, really disturbing and disgusting. And those of you women who think that that's okay, it's different when a person wants to brag or be funny about something. But when some freaking no life, bald headed creep, can talk that way, and you women who reward that behavior, you're wrong. I'm against her like a demolition ball, demolishing a building. I mean, this is what she has said in a live stream. She, yeah, she said she was getting banged and whatnot. She was getting that D word just all up inside of her. That's, who, that's and the creepiest the part. Thing. That was like so fucking creepy. I'm not sitting there talking in that voice. It's different when us women talk about, yeah, I was with my fuckboy. Let me tell you about my fuckboy. Let me tell y'all about the fuckboy I just had. Let's talk about him, how hot he was. Let's talk about how he threw it down. Or, damn, you was giving me the eggplant. What's the eggplant? I'll talk about, oh, how he reached up deep inside of me, went left and around the corner, and touched me all the way up through to the... No! What she was uh, insinuating. Truthfully, truthfully, insinuating, but that didn't But that say. says to me, listen, you're single. Uh, you, you're Wait a minute. So you come from the school that what what it says to you because a woman wears a short skirt, she deserves to be raped, dude. Fuck yourself. Fucking creep. I have to be committed to this guy. In fact, I'll share you with him. I will share your vagina. Miss Trisha, yes, uh, I mean, listen. You can share a fucking pocket pussy with him, but you're not sharing my vagina, and my vagina is my vagina, you sick creep, and you will never touch it, you will never have it, so you can keep on fucking dreaming. Uh, we, we can draw straws, uh, we can take a draw uh, straws. Uh, day out of, out of Damn. this hat right here. I'll just take it off, we'll, you know, we'll uh, write down the days of the week, and uh, you are fucking those seven, uh, uh, some paper in there, and... Well, each draw this is just an ex-boyfriend or something? What the hell is going on? And, uh, that's going to be our days. Oh, that film is one thing in almost uh, like six months. Uh, acquire a She's moment. been up to a lot of stuff. Uh, uh, with your nether regions. Sure, why not? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> what the actual fuck is wrong with you, dude? What is wrong with you that you think that that's okay? Not How can you put this film out on the internet? How is that okay? Sure, I was drunk on the floor. Sure, I said I love to be fucked when I'm drunk, and I did all of that other bullshit. But that does not require a response like this from this low-life, bald-headed, ugly-looking motherfucking dick. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what you know. What I would suggest, because yeah, you know. First. Part two tomorrow, guys. Thanks.